Good afternoon, good evening my friends. Thank you so much for coming to see my video today. A friend of mine, well many people actually, asked me, wouldn't you get bored of being immortal? Wouldn't you get bored of, of living forever? Wouldn't, you, wouldn't it eventually just be a constant state of suffering? Of pain and misery? And I have a few things I'd like to bring to the attention of such people who make this argument. First of all, I have a friend who I consider very wise who told me only boring people are bored. Take from that what you will. I am yet to see if I agree with that statement or not, but I will say that I am never bored. The only time that I can remember being bored was when I was a child, a very little child, and did not understand um, how useful my time was, how useful I could be in the world, how useful and important we all are, and how, mu how much exciting and fun things there are, how, how each person's story is like an epic saga. Because I have yet to realize that I found my life to be boring. My life is not boring. There are not enough hours in a day to do all of the things that I want to do. There are not. I have very many hobbies. Every day I make it a point to practice 16 languages, to write 16 languages, to listen and read 16 languages. I play eight instruments. I this and that and the other thing. Okay, I, you, you see what I do on my, on my YouTube channel. You can see on my Facebook the things I do. I have a lot of hobbies. A lot of things that I like doing. I love doing so much. I try to squeeze everything I can out of every second. I assure you I'm not bored ever, ever. I am always wishing for more time. Wishing for more time in one day. So, I, I am unfamiliar with this experience of being bored. I will say that it is possible that being bored is the result of some kind of mindset. Being bored is possibly the result of a personality trait. And if, if you believe in the technological progress of science and we get to the point where we can make it so people are immortal, well, maybe we will have ways of helping you change your mind if you are bored all the time. Maybe. I think psycho a little bit of psychotherapy is all that people will need. Just some counseling and therapy, really. And, you know, maybe, maybe people don't need to be as high-strung as I am. Maybe they can have a more relaxed approach to life than I do. My life is stressful because I do it to myself. So, I don't think that, that immortality is inherently boring because there, there is so much to do. And they say, yes, but that is because you are a mortal. And you uh, only have so much time. If you had all the time in the world, then it would be different. Then you would have, uh, then you would, after, after learning every single language, you, you would be bored. You would then have to contend with boredom because forever is a long time. To which I would say, languages are disappearing. I can go back in history into, into eternity and find the languages people were speaking millions of years ago, maybe if humans were uh, actually articulate then i could go in i could i could try to i could try to create predictions for how languages will evolve in the future and learn to speak it and compare with those languages in the future so therefore because of that even if languages remained fixed forever even my interpretation of those languages would change there there, there will always be new instruments new languages new foods new new exciting things to do there will be new planets to discover there will be new new scientific discoveries new there, there the, the, the beauty in the world is endless it is endless i am confident that i would never get bored but then one might say well the what, what about the universe will eventually collapse well if the universe collapsed then i would not be mortal anymore i would be immortal until the universe collapsed which brings me to the next point. Immortality is distinct, then, is it not, from 
invincibility. One of the reasons, the main reason, when we when we talk when I talk about immortality, I, I am specifically referring to the, the generation of cell, cells when they reproduce, of cellular DNA when they reproduce. I've made a video about that. Um, I, I will I will try to link it in this video. Specifically, the the, the ends of the telomere the ends of the telomeres reduce every time that a cell uh, divides. And that is essentially what causes there to be more dying and decaying cells in the body than there are cells that are being rejuvenated. That are, well, instead of fresh, healthy cells. So that is what I'm specifically referring to in terms of immortality. It is that this process is somehow just not, not, no, longer, no longer a phenomenon. We, we, if we can find some way to replenish the telomeres, we, we, we would potentially live forever. But of course, if you are uh, in, a, in a, if one is in a terrible accident, if one has uh, uh, illnesses, it, it 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 would be still lethal. People they would still die. Immortality is not invincibility. So that is distinct. If one absolutely wanted to die, should they choose to? They could. They could just kill themselves. I mean, I, I don't. I, I don't encourage that. I I think that that's unnecessary, and uh, that's a sad thought. But if that is the case, if one really did feel that uh, that their life was so terrible, you know, like like that they that they absolutely wanted death. If death is something good because it prevents us from suffering eternal boredom, as the argument would suggest, then you you're still you're not invincible. You know, even if you were immortal, you wouldn't be invincible. And that brings us to the next point. If immortality, as in the if the telomeres that 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 uh, no longer shorten because of, uh, of of cellular replication, if that was resolved, if we found some way to replicate telomere t telomerase in the cells, would that really extend people's lives that much longer? That's an interesting question. People would still die from heart attacks. There are people who die from heart attacks from eating unhealthy food at young ages. Okay, we have had, we have had children who have had. I have seen. I have witnessed children who have had heart pul palpitations from consuming caffeine products. Discovering immortality in our current society probably would not yield dramatic results in terms of longevity. In of itself, there are many things that, many, many steps that we need as a society to the point where, where it would have noticeable effects on longevity. Maybe. I'm not 100% on that. So if we had immortality, we would still have people, even if we found some way to replicate telomerase in cells, we would still have people dying of heart attacks, of car crashes, and of all the other illnesses in our society. But it would be no, there would be no shortage of death in society, even if we had the capability to be immortal. The only thing that would happen would be that maybe people would look younger longer and they would be healthier longer. Because they're, in my Psychology Through the Lifespan textbook, which is a, my, my textbook in a, a class that I had called Lifespan Psychology at uh, LCC, we talked about how maybe lifestyle choices account for 10 to 20 years of of, of life, uh, whether it's more or less, like if you smoke, if you drink, if you do bad things, maybe you live 20 years less. Uh, it, it is saying that, that up to 20 years, if I remember correctly, is, is uh, the result of lifestyle choices, but the rest is genetic. Well, we, we could say then that, that uh, immortality in this case would be would extend people's lifespans up to that, uh, would allow people to have a genetically infinite life. But, you know, people still get into car crashes. It, how long would it be, even if we lived, even if, even if, is, even, even if you ate junk food every day, eventually it would, it would have a toll on itself. So how long would people really live if they were immortal? If they, if they were at a genetic maximum of, pol of polymerase repl replication or something like that? How long would they live? If they eat pizza every day, they're, they're not going to live 200 years, 300 years, 500 years. It's, it's just not going to happen. If they're not exercising. They're, they're, they're going to get blood clots. They're going... I don't see it. I don't see it. People are... If, how, how confident are we that, that, that if we drive cars every day for thousands of years that we won't get into a car crash? The notion that, that immortality somehow means invincibility is not... Is a, Questionable. Another thing that I would like to think about is 
Do you remember? Do you remember the breakfast you had five days ago? Do you remember it? Do you remember what you ate for breakfast? Hmm. It seems that that somehow has escaped your memory, your, your perception of yourself, right? I'm a completely different person now at 31 years old than I was even five years ago, maybe 10 years ago. I, will, I am a completely different person. I can't imagine what that would be like over thousands of years. I think, I very well think people would be just constantly reinventing themselves, constantly looking at themselves in the mirrors and wanting something different. I, I'm certain that people would just essentially be reborn into their, into their, in, 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 while they're still alive. They would be reborn while they're still alive. And further, just like how you don't remember, how you don't really consciously remember the breakfast you had from two weeks ago, or how, how we can seemingly forget all these things. Like if I look back in my life, like if, I, if I'm just asked to sit down and look back at my life, I can see that, I can see certain things sticking out chronologically as I go back in time, but there are like gray areas and fuzzy areas. And I think over thousands of years, thousands or hundreds, I mean, let's, let's not kid ourselves, okay? When we're talking about immortality at anything that we can achieve currently, we're talking about maybe maximizing the, the human lifespan at around 90 years or so, 95 years. If we're, if we're really lucky, maybe like 120, 150, 200 years, that's, that's really what, what I envision being, uh, if we're being realistic about it. Anything other than that is already in realms of super science. I think we have the means to get up to around 90 years, for sure, for sure, to increase the lifespan up to 90, 95 years-ish. Uh, a little bit beyond that, maybe. Maybe 100, 150 is like optimistic. 200 is very charitable, very charitable. But let's say someone lived for thousands of years. I think that they would, rem they would forget their children's names. They would have children who they don't recognize. They would for, they would they would forget their 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 loved ones. They would forget the name of their parents. They would maybe maybe I'm 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 worried about that. I think that that perhaps our memory isn't created to to function over such long vast periods of time. Just like how one forgets how to play an instrument. There would be constant, a constant battle of remembering what is important. If someone lived for thousands of years, they would literally be drifting away from themselves mentally. They would always constantly be changing. They would be constantly re, relearning things and having to reinterpret things. I, 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 am, I am wary to say that, that people who are immortal would just be bored because they, wouldn't, they would just, oh, I did that, oh, I did that. I think that they would, unfortunately, not remember everything. I think that only certain things would stick out in people's minds. Over hundreds of thousands of years, millions of years, I think people would forget who their parents were. So there would always be... That, that, that's, that's kind of scary. <laughs> that's, that's, I think... Uh, I, I don't think that there would be a, a sudden slam of boredom forever and into eternity. I think that, that there is more than enough magical experiences and connections people can make with other people. And I think that immortality is, <laughs> it is an absolute good. And removing, removing, the, removing the barriers from, from people's longevity is, is, an absolute, is an absolute good. I have seen many patients who are, who are on, on the brink of dying. And I can tell you none, none, None would have not wanted to live longer, except unless they were under excruciating pain. But we're not really talking about that, because if we had the means to have immortality, these, the, 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 the pain that was, is causing these patients suffering would also probably be addressed. I think that, that most people would, would be very happy for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years more. And really, like I said, if, if, we, if we're talking about the re realistic ramifications of immortality, of making it so people ha can theoretically live forever, we're, we're really only talking about adding maybe 
30, maximum 80 or so years to people's lifespan. Any more than that, and it, it requires other kinds of interventions. We're talking about like breaking the singularity, man. You know, we're talking about uh, like finding ways to like make human brains and like transcend humanism, in, you know, all kinds of like scientific hocus pocus. But realistically, immortality would mean increasing, making it so people don't have to die because of just aging, because their body is no longer reproducing cells in a way that is healthy. So let me know what you think about my points to recite, to recoup everything. The reason that I think immortality would be exciting and fun forever, not, ne not necessarily boring, would be one, there are so many things to do in life. Life is beautiful. There will always be things to do in life, ways to reinvent the wheel, relearn things. We will be consistently having to reinvent ourselves. Four, we will be forgetting everything. We will just be forgetting so many things in our lives. Those are the main points. I'd love to know what you think. Please let me know what you, what, what, what you think about my question. And if there is a single lady out there watching this, please consider supporting my channel by marrying me. I love you all. Have a nice day. Goodbye.